Batman saknar tän pyhyn. Ever Batman tykkää siitä. Worth kissed. You are gone over long. We've had trouble. Engelwen is dead. Though there is a sickness in these Franks, I do not understand. That is very good. It is as I told you. You see now why it is pointless to try to deal with them. Yet I must. Information with him led me to their king. Charles and I have reached the beginnings of an agreement. You met with their king? Do you make yourself my enemy now? Toka failed to bring me any but you, and now you defy me! I had to act, or miss the opportunity. I did not mean to defy you. Yet you have, and while you did we were attacked, and took losses you might have helped prevent. Why? What has happened? You will see what it is you are so eager to make peace with. Toka will show you. I have our revenge to plan. Come with me, Wolfkist. You remember our missing watch? While you and Siegfried went after Engelwin, I searched for them. But they were gone. After this second attack, we found them. Uh, what do you mean? Where were they? Come and see. Look. These wounds were not made by the sword, or by animals. It is the Franks. You said yourself, there is a sickness in them. There is no honor in what they do. These were my friends. I have seen this before. People disappear sometimes. When they return, they are like this. Toka, I need your help. Charles asked me to find his queen. If I can, I might stop this sickness reaching England. The queen was at Evreux yesterday, in the company of priests. You will find her there. You think all I do is drink wine and bed handsome men and beautiful women? Merde. I have eyes all over Francia. And they see many things. Some of those things I must attend to now. When you have the time, Evor, come and see me. I have more work for you. Siegfried is right, Wolfkist. Even with this proof of the Franks' cowardice before you, you still want to bargain with them? I will not go against my uncle. I am sorry. I cannot help you in this. You're right. Your duty is to your own clan, Toga. My duty is to mine. It is why I came to Frankia. I will go to Evreux alone. When you are done in Evreux, meet us at our forward camp, west of Paris. We have a siege to prepare. To keep Charles's armies from England, I must find his queen. She was seen with priests at Evreux. That is where I must go. with little mother is about to begin. I have to hurry. We are all sinners. Not one of us is pure. We all will answer to God. And so we all must seek deliverance by the grace of God. 
Little mother is here to aid us. She is almost ready to begin. Make your way to the church. They're gathering somewhere. They might know something about the queen. No, no. Who Find a seat where you can. Little mother will soon begin. The dark waters covered me. Then his holy light came and oh, the glory of his brightness. You will recall the miracle of Saint Orinus, how he raised the burn girl back to life. As a child, I too was burned and near to death. At his altar, the saint appeared, touched me, and I was healed. Time could not corrupt the saint's holy body. He touched me so that now I might touch you. Loki himself could not tell a better story. God is light. But what have you done in his light? All are turned to their own way and gone astray into darkness. The devil has hold of your thoughts, your hearts, your very bodies. No one is safe, whether you are pauper, king, or queen. Choose this day whom you will serve, for judgment is coming, and with it comes either deliverance or damnation. Let us pray. <clears throat> Little mother knows something about the queen. I need to find her. Have you seen my husband? He should have been back from the ritual by now, shouldn't he? You are troubled. It's my husband. He went for deliverance and hasn't come back. It's been days. Oh, it's all my fault. Tell me about deliverance. My husband was going to leave me, but he loves me. The devil got into him somehow. We sent him to Aquila for a deliverance ritual. Little mother said it would rid him of the devil. The rituals happen at Aquila. Yes. Little mother has a sanctum there. Oh, my poor husband. Do you think he's okay? I think you should prepare for the worst. And pray to your God for the best. <gasps> yes, I must pray. I must pray. I should go to Aquila, where rituals are being done. Tavern Keep, I'm new here. Can you tell me about Little Mother? Oh, the deliverance rituals are all these drunkards talk about. Isn't that right, Bastion? You lad mouth shot. <laughs> Take a seat, Narsoner. Bastion's buying and he'll tell you all about it. Right, Bastion? That's me, all right. Bastien's a loud mouth. Bastien's a drunk. And let's not forget, Bastien's a drink buyer, eh, hey, barkeep? Sit down, northerner. I'll buy you a drink, too. To you have us at an advantage, northerner. Where do you hail from? I just got in from Milan. 
Miller? You're not one of Siegfried's, are you? I'm just passing through, friend. Do not go through Aquila! That's where they take the poor fools for deliverance. They might take you too! <laughs> tell me about little mother and her deliverance rituals. I can tell you it's a lot of extra work for us. Since she got her special prisoner, it's worse. Shh, Bastien! We can't speak of God's business. A special prisoner? Someone close to the king, they say. A woman, no less. Mon dieu, Bastien! Ah, but we cannot speak of that, lest God hears us. Drink up, my friends! Bastien is buying! told you that song. I made it up myself. It's about the delivery hunts they do at the creep. I think they must have delivery at this deer, too. The creep? <laughs> you mean the crypt? Yeah. I see people go there all the time, but I'm not allowed. Mother says the gods will beat me if I go too close. I will have a talk with those crypt guards. Oh, be careful. Don't talk to little mother. She'll give you a delivery hunt, and you'll end up like the deer. I've lost my family. My future. And now the key to the crypt as well. The only thing I have left is wine. So... Something! Keep your voice down. You've made enough trouble tonight. If the captain finds you drinking, you're done! And if he finds out we've lost the key, we're both done! Keep quiet and help me look for it. Hey, what's going on? Hey! The guard's key. It must unlock something nearby. blood amongst the dust, and a taste of iron on my tongue. This is the queen, no matter what the Bellatores say. Surely little mother won't hurt her. It isn't right. Oh, you startled me. You are one of the new assistants? Good. That is good. Yes, I've been sent to help. You've picked a bad time. They have the queen in there. It doesn't seem right. I, I don't think I can do it. I will. Tell me what to do. Really? Okay. Little mother needs her knife dipped in sacrificial blood. It is on the table. Then, you must take it to her. All right. I'll prepare the knife and take it to little mother. You stay here. The knife is well made, but the edge is dull. It will not cut easily. I need to dip it in the blood. Deliverance seems to come at a high price. The knife is covered with the blood. I can use it to get close to Little Mother while keeping the Queen safe. If I attack openly, they could kill the Queen. I need to find a way to get close to her without raising suspicion. This is not the work of God. You know the scriptures, Euphrasia. Where do they instruct you to do such things? My instruction comes from God, as you will soon see. That is the Queen, and she's being held by a little mother. Those are her elite guards. Best not to try to take them head on. Maybe I can find a way to distract them. Those guards have the key to the cage. Opening it would create a distraction. Forward a 
discovered. Oh, thank God. I could not take any more. I was going to leave my wife. Now she is the only person I want to see. What was that? Guard, check the cage. No, I should not be seen. Queen herself. Who would have thought we could reach her so soon? Where is my assistant? I cannot begin without the knife. <laughs> Ah, here is my assistant with my knife. We can begin. I am little mother, touched by Saint Orinus, chosen by God. You are just another royal broodmare, mated to a king she doesn't love. In your bitterness, you turn him against God. You see, your majesty, you can hide nothing from a true servant of God. God himself knows I do not try. That is a lie. You speak for the devil now, do you know that? But we will cut him right out of you. Then we will get to the truth, you and God and I. Put your faith in that. Assistant, my knife. She was not always like this, and too young for such bitterness. Your methods are uncompromising, but your coming was God's doing. You are a northerner, aren't you? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I'm not here because of any god. I'm here because your husband, the king, sent me. Charles sent you for me? There's no time. We have to find a way out before we're discovered. I know a way. Follow me. I did not thank you for rescuing me. It was a brave thing to do. It was not bravery. I'm only here because I have an agreement with Charles to return you to him. You have been used by God today. Do not doubt it. But I have to go now. There is somewhere I must be. It was not your God who freed you. It was me. And I did it only to return you to your husband. That is where we're going. You think because you did something it was not God? God used a donkey once. He can use anyone. Even you. Nevertheless, I'm taking you to Charles. It is not me Charles wants. I can trust you. I know it. I perceive God working something strange through you. I will show you what Charles seeks. You could be trying to deceive me. Yes, I suppose I could. But I am not. Do you really not see the strangeness in all this? That it must be God. I see only that your God makes it so you can never be wrong. <sighs> I like you, Eivor. I can see why God chose you. And why we should be friends. We will go together. I mean to bargain with your husband the king, but he's a complicated man. You are being diplomatic. Charles was not always as he is now. When he was a boy, he fell into fits of madness. His keepers believed him possessed, and put him through a ritual. His conversion afterwards was sincere, though he gained a terrible fear of fire. When we met, he was honorable and pious. You sound proud of Charles. You loved him. Do I? Yes, in a way. But we have never been a normal husband and wife in private. Does he not love you? It is not him. I could never be what he needed. But he is a man and found solace elsewhere. Often. The nun little mother was going to kill you. Perhaps. Her deliverance rituals were brutal and cruel. Few survived. Euphrasia belonged to a secret group that believes Francia has fallen into apostasy. She thought me possessed. The Bishop Anglewyn was part of this group, I think. You know of Anglewyn? Yes. They call themselves Bellatores Dei, God's warriors. 
And there are more of them. We have arrived. There is Bernard. You've brought me all this way to see a child. Yes. Charles has a son. Little bear. Richardis! You're safe! God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard? This is Eivor, a friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. He paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? He's better than many I've seen. Did you teach him? I do not have that gift. He got the ability from his mother, I think. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. From that came Bernard. You're hiding the boy from his father. Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the child down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard knows to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I must leave again for a while. When I return, I want to hear your Latin verbs. I know you're going to see father without me. I'm not stupid, you know. By keeping Bernard from Charles, you hope to prevent him becoming king. You misunderstand me, Eivor. Bernard must assume the throne for the good of Francia. You see what Charles has become. Bernard is young, but will make a good ruler. One that will be more sympathetic to your people, also. If Charles wants the child, I'll not be pleased to see you without him. I hope that is not true. Charles knows the Bella Torres took me. He would be concerned. We have not been on good terms lately. But he sent you to free me. Perhaps he wishes to be reconciled. That bear is wounded. Wait. If it is wounded, it is dangerous. It is all right. Shh. What have you done to yourself? There. God is with you. Be more careful now. Off you go. There are noble animals. She had given up. She is all right now. Thanks to God. Are all bears so tame in Frankia? All of God's beasts respond to love, Eva. Even more so when they are hurt. In that, they are not so different to people. You have the gift with beasts. But you're speaking of Charles now. You think the same is true even of him? Especially of him. We are here. Charles Kemp. I fulfilled our agreement. Here is your wife, the Queen. She is unharmed. Charles. My dear wife. Finally, you appear before me. You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You are still angry. It is for nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for taking Bernard, but... Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him. But I do not see him. Where is Bernard? Safe. <laughs> do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and awash with thousands of stars. The night of our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. I knew you and I were meant to be. You were in white, all 
purity and grace. I thought, tonight, I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man, but as your fool. Charles, no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Oh. Do not be concerned about Bernard de Chardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, northern devil, who presumes to sit at the negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. You lied to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. And so he has. I'll take care of the guards. Stay hidden. Right, get away. I stop. Look for any tricks. Always saying what they do not mean to get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help and become your ally. I do not share your faith in your God or your husband, but you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now, I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there. I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. I have a siege to prepare and pride to swallow. God exalts the humble, Eivor of Raventlan. You will see. Farewell for now. Long ships on the shore, as beautiful as swans. More like wolves circling for the kill. True, this is no raid. When we get inside those walls, what happens, Eivor? You have fought before, bled, killed. Yes, but there are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling, playing games. There need not be a slaughter. We 
We may still persuade the Franks to yield. Though I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We are here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Otto leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. The High One says, it is better to live than to die, that the dead till no fields. You quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost Thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Odo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is this Odo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind. This must be the Ford Toka mentioned. I need clues to Odo's whereabouts. Take heart, comrade! In! Count Odo shall lead us to victory! The Northmen have not won yet! Hmm. Interesting. Hey! With you, good! <laughs> Who says I cannot enter? Lord Odo says so. It is because of the coming siege, no? We cannot fill the castle with hungry mouths. Survey the area, Sunan.
Baldor has trusted me and me alone with the key to his study. How did such an outrage come to be? Because, dear Lothar, I gift him with rare vintages, whole casks from as far away as Greece. Ha! Ah, servant, bring more wine. I shall see to our wine, dear Lothar. Farewell. these heathen devils back into the Abyssal Sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal, not demons. They want land and plunder. True. The Northmen are fierce and the king is slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath before God to defend this realm. We will overcome this evil as we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Gosler, kindly show our guests out. Come out and say what you wish to say, Eivor of England. You saw me enter. Fair enough. But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. My one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. Eva, you risked much to see me. I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Francia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deniers? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off for silver. And they burned Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We're not a part of your kingdom. <laughs> and I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he lets Siegfried's thanes keep their lands in the north. Rouen and Amiens were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, and not in England. My men will escort you out. When next we meet, it shall be on the field of battle. Farewell. I must return to camp and tell the others what Odo said. Ah, you arrive in time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The hero of Ravensthorpe, the Skalds call this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure. Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? It went as you said. The man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk. But their words are as empty as the wind. True. But a wise sailor still listens to the wind. It may foretell a coming storm. Now, two things we must do to carry this siege. First, 
We shall take some ground for catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls. Or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed. But how? Might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Toga. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler. A woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> <laughs> She's not my lover. Just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself, but uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Toka's necklace before she stole her heart. Now Toka misses her necklace. I will talk to the smuggler and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason. But Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking? We should speak to the fat king. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give us silver without half our clan dying on those walls. Perhaps Tokus right. Charles may still yield. Go, niece. Talk to every king and bishop in the land. Just like Eivor the Talker. It matters not, but soon comes the end of talk. Soon the spears will clash and the city will burn. Be ready to fight that day. My word once given is never broken. I will fight at your side, Siegfried. Never doubt. Enough! Friends, uncle! We are of one heart here. I will seek the king at the Clever Fox, a tavern on the north bank. Pierre says he carouses there. Toka is a good thane. Someday she might stand in front of an army like you, Siegfried. I hope so. But for now, she stands with me. Meet me at the bell tower, Eivor, when you are ready to fight some Franks. Instead of talk to them. <laughs> What do you laugh at, Thane? They say you stink of crow shit, hero. But you smell like Frankish piss wine to me. 